not only can we have variations of hitting different types of balls, we can become a little more efficient in our swing. For example, we can add it here and add it here in this position. We can do the same thing with a seven inch ball. We could be in here. Um, if we want to go with two hands, we can add a bigger ball. We can put it in, in between your arms. Just kind of keep the just connection. Just to keep you in, inside. We can play around with a lot of different positions. In one of our other drills that we use, we, we have a T-pipe that we'll put in between to hold us. So hold the triangle. we can use different different balls to keep us in a much more efficient position to be able to, to come through and hit. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can obviously try that under your arm. That's perfect. So it dropped forward, it didn't drop behind or anywhere mm -hmm. else. And you can do the same thing with this. And then we can do it on top. I'm gonna put this here, keep that strong position. This one. I think I like this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Relax. You guys relax. didn't see our TikTok. Go look Go at it. Go watch it. I'm gonna pop it up right here. It'll change your little life. <laughs> okay, guys. For Wait, serious now. All right, here we go. This is for connection and working on staying tight in our turns. I would make sure that we're keeping that knob going towards the path of the pitch where the ball is coming from, making sure that that ball is our focus, but making sure that we're also focusing on this movement of our wrists and that, yeah, that twist turn of our wrists and making yeah. sure that they are in charge and not our upper body. This helps a lot, especially with the younger kids that arm bar. Yep. So you don't want that to drop out early. I wanna try to keep this close to me because that means my hands are staying tight, close inside the ball. I can do a few of this normal, but you can also add in the balance that we did previously. So I'm gonna do it here first. Nice. That was it. Nice. Nice. Your turn. Yay. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to squeeze it up. Yeah, it's but like, I almost try to keep my hand like more here yeah. instead of back. Yeah. Is this full swing? Yeah, I was, full, I was doing a full swing. Okay. Right. You can do extension too with this. Um, I just did full swing. Yeah, I'm See, like, it's, yeah. Like I really, the, when I made the adjustment on those, I was really focusing on like that quickness that instead of like, Drift. I feel like I'm drifting a little bit. Yeah. A little. Yeah. Try to be like really efficient from like here, here to here. here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here Better. And I was also trying, I think, a little too hard to like squeeze it and push instead of just letting my hands go. Right. I was like squeezing and pulling instead, instead of, of the snap. Yeah, of the yeah. There it is. Yeah. That one, your wrists were a lot quicker, yeah. like here. The get, yeah, right instead out the go. The push, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So like when you guys are doing this, don't don't focus too much on like, can I keep this in the entire time? It yeah. will do that if you're connected here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Now we're doing the same idea, but I'm gonna have this ball up here. So it's kind of working that same thing, not letting it get mm -hmm. out away from me. I'm gonna do this with extension for two and then go to full swing. Thanks, queen. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, that one felt good. Yeah, that was good. So those cool. two, I'm really focusing on that efficiency of the snap of my wrist here and like how quick it can be because I've had a tendency to like travel, especially yeah. with slapping, because slapping we you're do- You're moving. And you're doing a lot of placement with slapping. So like when we get back to our hit, a lot of times like you don't want to get long. So I'm yeah. trying to like hold my hands back, create that separation and snap quick to the ball. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do full swing. Let's add in the balance drill too. Oh, why well, I was focusing on extension. <laughs> I meant full swing, but I did extension. <laughs> extension is important. That's so it important. Works. So it works. Honestly, once the ball leaves your bat and you get through extension, doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. So I'd rather that than me focusing on out and around. I wasn't looking <laughs> at the ball. <laughs> at the ball. You know, the okay. best piece of advice I think anyone's ever given me as a coach is like, hey, if you look at the ball, yeah. you're gonna hit it. Because like half the time we be th we're, we're thinking about all these other things, like, yeah. are you really looking at the ball? Yeah, yeah. And that's I'm at the highest level and I still sometimes lose my focus. <laughs> I'm going to look at the ball. <laughs> nice. When you look at the ball. 
So kids, the moral of the story is look at the ball, hit the ball. See ball, hit ball. See ball, hit ball. I was just gonna say that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's literally 10 o'clock at night. See ball, Sorry. hit ball, but first you need a ball. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. The sequence. <laughs> Good. Nice. Nice. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. And the bat. And the bat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved what you saw and you found something valuable, please let me know by hitting the like button. And I would love if you join my community and subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss a video. Your thoughts matter here to me. So if you have any ideas, comments, or questions, please leave them down below and let's keep this conversation going. See you next time.